On June 24th, 2016, Christy Sheets, 42 years old, shot and killed her two daughters, 17-year-old Madison, who was a high school senior, and 22-year-old Taylor, who was a recent college graduate. She shot them in the family's home in Katy, Texas, which is a suburb of Houston, Texas. Her husband, Jason Sheets, 45, survived. So what happened? to make a mother shoot her two daughters, and how did it all play out that tragic day? Jason and Christy Sheets were not getting along. They were having marital problems. The day of the shooting was Jason's birthday, and he told Christy this would be the last birthday that she's going to ruin. He told her they would be getting a divorce. A few days before the shooting and on the day of the shooting, Christy had an argument with her daughter Taylor and wanted to ground her. She wanted to keep her from seeing her fiance. Now Jason did not agree with that and told her it was inappropriate to ground her 22 year old daughter and prevent her from seeing her fiance. This was the fiance she was to marry in three days. Later that day, Christy convened a family meeting in the living room that was attended by her husband and her daughters. And as the family gathered into the living room, Jason anticipated they would discuss the divorce. Instead, Christy pulled a gun. Both of the girls dialed 911. Christy shot both girls. They were all screaming and trying to get out of the house. Jason and the two girls did manage to run outside where Madison collapsed and died because she had been shot. And then Jason ran to the end of the cul-de-sac and Taylor ran, but Christy ran after her and shot her again and stood right over her and tried to shoot her again, but she ran out of bullets. So she went back into the house to reload. When she returned, she shot Taylor in the back as she tried to run away. When the police officers arrived, they saw Christy shooting Taylor in the street. So an officer fatally shot Christy after she refused to obey commands to drop her handgun. Taylor was taken to Houston Hospital where she died. Madison Sheets had been shot once and Taylor Sheets had been shot three times and Jason was not shot at all. Jason says Christy had shot at him too. Investigators found the murder weapon Christy used to kill her daughters. It was a five shot, 38 caliber handgun. So what else do we know? We found out that Christy had tried to harm herself on three occasions and had been treated at multiple mental health facilities in the last four years. Christy began to spiral after her grandfather's death in 2012. Her grandfather had raised her. Her husband said she had a really difficult time dealing with her grandfather's death. And then Christy's mother died a couple of months after that. The family also started a pattern of service calls for authorities to their home, including three calls about Christy's attempts to harm herself. And Christy was taking several medications for depression and anxiety. The Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office had responded to 14 service calls at the Sheets home, including several times due to Christy's depression, but there was no history of Christy being violently unstable. Jason Sheets told police that she drank heavily at times. Although they had been married for more than 20 years, the couple had separated several times. In the previous year, Christy had lived in an apartment for eight months during one of the separations. Jason believes that Christy killed their children as a way to make him suffer. And he did say that her mission was accomplished because he's still grieving over the death of his daughters. Jason said his wife had been denied a license to carry permit in Texas because of her mental health issues. If the family was aware that she shouldn't have a gun, then they should not have a gun in the home. But even on her Facebook page, Christy had put references to uh, having guns, to having many guns for protection. She believed in the right to protect her family. She didn't protect her family. She didn't protect her family at all. She killed her family. And she didn't get to live to understand the ramifications of killing her family. One wonders if she intended to harm herself 
after killing her family. You know, it's really sad because if you look at the girls, they put on their mom's Facebook page, stuff like you're the best mom in the world. You always look out for us. We've always come first. And she wrote equally nice things about her daughter. Everyone who is, has a mental illness is not a killer or murderer, but we do have to look for the signs that someone could be dangerous and we have to get them treatment and try to help them. This situation surprised everyone. I'm sure no one thought she would do that. She hasn't shown any violence ahead of time. It looks like Chrissy thought her life was totally falling apart and that the only outlet for her was to kill her family. And it may have been to punish Jason, to kill the people that he loved. It takes a lot of bad feelings or pure desperation to actually look at your daughters in the face and shoot them. Christy was very disturbed. You know, it's also possible that Christy felt a total loss of control. On one hand, you have a husband asking for a divorce. You have a daughter that she's having a conflict with who's about to be married and going to leave the home. And you also have another daughter that's in high school that'll be graduating next year. Motherhood has meant a lot to her, according to all her friends. So Christy may have seen this as an ultimate loss of control. Her husband said that she drank a lot and we know she was taking some medicines for depression and she just got to a point that she couldn't manage it anymore. And with her history of depression, we can see how all these things created a recipe for a disaster. Jason mentioned later that nobody who loves their children can do that to her own children. Jason made a statement that if you ever think anybody is a problem, get away from them. He made a statement like that. So did he see something in her behavior that indicated that she could have done something dangerous. Not anything horrific as what she did do, but again, just be observant to everybody and love your families and hold them tight because you never know when something may go wrong. Our condolences do go out to Jason because he did suffer a great loss that day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.